<laughs> What's going on, YouTube Metal Complex here? Uh, I am joined with David and uh, uh, Ricky here. We're going to do a really epic unboxing. As you saw there, this first one has actually already been opened, and it's out of necessity because we had to check. There's so many boxes on the table. We had to check and see yesterday what the first box was. So uh, we, we sealed it just for dramatic effect, and now the uh, top has been popped open. So essentially what we're doing here today is... Um, You've heard David's name mentioned multiple times on this channel. Um, David got into knives very quickly. He started off with a Manix 2. Speaking of the Manix 2, for those of you who are asking me about that second red Manix 2 that I've got, that was actually a gift uh, for David. Um, so this is his. This is the other one. And uh, just in case you guys don't believe that there are two of them, just to show you, there's mine, there's David's. I'll hand that back to you there. Um, that was a gift for him because he has been helping out with channel content in terms of knives that I can show. I always try to point out, hey, this is David's knife, like the uh, full track. And um, he and I were talking, and I, uh, he was like, hey, you know, is there anything else that we should take a look at for the channel? And, and I said, well, you know, you know um, there, are, there are a lot of things that um, have influenced the knife world over the last decade. I will, I will send you a list of some of the things I think are very influential, and then you can pick and choose the ones you are interested in for your own collection. So David then bought all of the ones on, uh, on the list. And so what we're going to do, because that's really cool and it'll be fun, we're going to unbox all of these right in front of you guys. And uh, Ricky and I have seen, I've seen a lot of these already in person. Ricky has seen some of them. One box has been opened and been handled by myself, but David has not seen them yet. And it'll be fun for, um, for David to, to um, see these and for you guys to see them one at a time. So we're going to open up this first box, take a look at... The first one here, so we will open this up. Now this one's going to be f very familiar to a lot of you here. David, I'll let you pull that one out and take a look at that. This is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Uh, what do you think of that one? That's cool. I like that it has the different um, safety on it versus most of the Spydercos. The uh, the compression lock? Yep. Yep, yeah. That's a favorite of Ricky's, so um, we, that's nice. And it will serve as a nice... Um, uh, Right here, I think, is where we're at. There you go. <laughs> it'll serve as a nice comparison, and uh, it'll it'll make a great um, knife to do you know battles with uh, um, as we go down the road here on the channel. So that's great. Now David's got a paramilitary two in his collection. There, excellent knife. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is one of my favorites. Um, that uh, has it. It's really actually late to the channel. Um, this is a Spyderco Native 5. Um, this is actually the newer linerless version. Pull that out, let you take a look at that one, David. Um, the new linerless version in S30V. Um, what do you think of that guy? Wow, that is light. Yeah. <laughs> this wow. new version weighs three... Guys, the old uh, liner version weighed like four and a half ounces. This one weighs like 3.4 ounces, something like that. They changed to S30V and went linerless. I think that's a really great idea. Despite me, you know, giving strong opinions in support of liners on, on knives uh, that are solid G10. But that big, um, solid backspacer, I think, is really good. So this is going to be an awesome one. It's definitely going to be shown on the channel. And I'm going to be using it um, in a lot of different examples. So... That's really cool. Those are so much nicer once you get them in your hand. Like I've seen them online, and I thought they looked really cheap. And then once you actually hold it, like it's, yeah, it's pretty legit. Definitely. So the third one here, this is actually mine. Um, sorry, this is one that I snuck in there because I, I'm excited <laughs> about it. Um, I I really wanted a Leatherman uh, multi tool. So over the weekend, I made a very quick decision to buy a Leatherman Surge, and I am super excited about that. So this will be uh, one of the first non knife reviews that you've seen on this channel in a very long time. It's heavy, actually. The thing wow. weighs like 12 ounces, but super cool. I was telling David, I watched a destruction test on that thing, and it took these guys on YouTube like three days to break a Leatherman Surge, and uh, I was really impressed with it, so I wanted to grab one. Okay, now on to the true unboxings. We're gonna save this guy, because I think I okay. know what that one is. Let's, uh, you wanna open the little one first? Sure. Okay. So let's go ahead and tear that guy open. Ricky uh, likes to poke fun at my unboxing skills when I do it with one hand. It, honestly, that last video, it got a lot better. <laughs> was it the, the Riat, the, uh, the Jack? Uh, you were like throwing stuff all over? Yes, yeah, the, uh, the Riat Jack was the worst unboxing I've ever done. <laughs> all right, we can see it right there on the top. A lot of people, I'm sure, will be 
excited to see that we're finally going to get one of these on the channel. Go ahead and open that one up there. And talk about light. Wow. That is a Benchmade bug out. I think that'll make a lot of people happy to see that I'll finally have one to compare. And David, you'll like carrying that one, you know, when you don't want to carry a brick around. David carries his Spyderco Manix 2s. He's got two of them. He's also got his Fatty. You can show that one on it. This was a, um, an old XM18 Fatty that I uh, used to have, and um, this is one of David's regular carry knives. So on days where he doesn't want to carry something that big and thick, he'll, he'll now have a bug out. Um, I think the gray one with the brass, um, the brass uh, thumb studs or the brass colored thumb studs looks better. The standard one has blue, and I just really? don't like it as much. I, I think am that probably going to get one of these. How cool is that, right? <laughs> that is that awesome. That is the best, like, length yeah, yeah. to weight ratio. I can't believe how light that is. Yeah. It's super light. It weighs like, I correct me if I'm wrong, people in the comments section, one point, does it weigh like 1.9 ounces? I don't like think it ounces. has any mass. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's literally floating. Yeah. No mass. <laughs> All right. So now on to yet another box here. Let's open this guy up, and I will let... It works better for me to cut it open and then for David to grab uh, grab what's inside there. I uh, know. He hasn't, yeah. Oh, there's two in there. Nice. Oh, there we go. Nice. I know what these are. Well, I mean, I should. I suggested them. You guys probably, the people, you guys watching will notice a trend here. I've been selecting knives that have made large impacts on the knife world uh, over the last decade. Um, so what we've got here... I, this is the first time I've ever handled one of these. This is a Spyderco Delica, but not just any VG10 Delica. This is a ZDP 189. This is what I was telling you about. It's like if you drop a thousand horsepower into a Honda. <laughs> uh, ZDP Dang. 189 is a very wear resistant uh, high carbon clean. steel. Um, and then the, the Delica itself um, has FRN handles, but it's got countersunk uh, stainless steel liners. And, uh, you'll, you know, everybody who's watched Nick Shabazz knows that this is like Nick Shabazz's favorite knife. You see it in every single one of his see. videos. I wanted to check it out for myself. I wanted to see what I thought about it. I wanted to see what David thought about it. But a lot of people consider this one of the greatest EDC knives that exists on the planet. So it's pretty that's cheap, pretty cool. isn't it? Yeah, this was a $94 knife. 94 bucks for ZDP 189. I don't know that that's even in existence other than in the, oh wow, that does feel good. So what's, well, the, what's the base like model? VG10. Okay. Yeah. So that's super cool. That'll make for a nice, uh, a nice change up again. What do you think of that dark green? I like that. It's almost yeah. black. Yeah. yeah. It's super dark. The, in contrast to that, that, that clip will wear a little bit. Uh, I like that most of these knives are great for like quick box opening and if you need something done real quick. I always carry a heavy knife because I'm never sure if there's going to be a zombie yeah. apocalypse. <laughs> I want to be totally prepared in case I can't get back to the house. It's bound to happen eventually. Right. It, yeah. And you want to be prepared. I want to be prepared. It. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Just because of how my phone works, guys, when I, when I record at 50, uh, 60 frames per second, I have a 10-minute limit. So real quick here, I'm going to set this guy back down on the table before we open that next one up there. And I'm going to hit stop, and then I'm going to uh, be right back. Okay, and we're back. Uh, David, let's go ahead and open that guy up here real quick. This is one of my, that's one of my favorites. I, I actually did EDC, not this exact version, but this knife for a long time. This is the um, Benchmade 940-2, the G10 model that has green standoffs. So that's another ultra light, but more refined uh, um, knife. Um, I love that knife because it's it's another one that's very um, long and has a good uh, a sized blade, um, but it's really light. I want to say that G10 version weighs like 2.5 ounces. It's a little bit more robust than the um, than the bug out, but not yeah. How how is that action there? That is awesome. It will eventually. That's one that will eventually free fall, or it should. Very cool. That is very cool. That's the reverse light. tanto is what they call that blade shape. So. I like that one a lot better than the OD Green Aluminum one, and it's because the OD Green Aluminum, the standard one, has a purple titanium backspacer, and it's weird. It's like a tiny, it, it makes me think of like the comic book Hulk that wears purple pants. It's just odd, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, now. Down to one? I think we're down to the last one. I think, let's look around, make sure we don't have any more boxes. 
pile up these other two over here. We have a lot of knives. David is um, uh, holding the box that has probably the, uh, well, it's, it's going to be the climax of this unboxing video. Um, oh. This is... This is an awesome knife, and I'm very interested to see. Well, actually, this is not. This is a knife that I've never handled. I've only handled a knife from this maker, um, and then these guys, neither of them have handled uh, a knife like it. But I'll say this: it is in the same caliber or cost range to the Hinderer XM18. So, and this one, you know, was packaged in by itself. So, of course, everything's very That's fortified. How you know serious. Yeah, they're serious with this packaging here. I mean, they weren't screwing around. I think we may have just given part of it away. So we have a Chris Reeve here. I'm gonna let uh, David. Oh, you. Whoever does okay. it, yeah, it's it's gonna be. I, I'm very excited to see what you guys think. First off, the important part. A band-aid and a pen. You got. A oh, I didn't even notice that was a band-aid at first. That's hilarious. <laughs> From True North Knives is where we got where we picked this one up. They're great to deal with too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Oh no, that's fancy. Yeah. How cool is that? Oh wow! Comes with all the, all the info, warranty information. There'll be a birth date card in there. Um, Chris Reeve, um, for good reason, takes himself very seriously, and uh, he <laughs> makes a, an excellent product. So you get the, the grease, you get Loctite, all the tools to take your knife apart. That is very. And you cool. get a really nice microfiber cloth. Show that cloth there before we. I'm, we are building up the theatrics of this. Everyone is. Like, Somebody's Shut. already skipped forward. I know. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, that's all cloth. Yeah, that is it's huge. huge. Actually, a lot of people use this as a backdrop in their um, their uh, deals, uh, their 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 oh, episodes. Wow. So this is a Chris Reeve. If you want to go ahead and open that up, a Chris Reeve uh, large Encosi with micarta, and it's the True North Knives edition that has the silver lugs. Um, I told David if he likes Hinderer, um, he he needs to get one of the other knives in the. Um, the trifecta of ultra high-end production. Uh, those of you will know, or, or a lot of you will know who I'm referring to, um, Mick Strider, Rick Hinder, yeah, and yeah. Chris Reeve um, are the three big names there. So I, I told David that probably the next one, what he would want to get would be a Chris Reeve. And this is a really nice uh, I, Reeve. I didn't think I liked the these inlays the way they are, but when you grip it, get your fingers the way your them. fingers are, you, you realize why yeah. it's like that. Wow. How cool is that? How, how, what do you think of the action on that? Because that's that's a big deal. Is the what they call it is the hydraulic action of a Chris Reeve knife. Yeah, I think it's pretty pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty nice. <laughs> so the uh, for those of you who have never handled a Chris Reeve, you don't have the fall shetty action that you would get on say. Uh, can I use your hinder as an example? The hinderer running on the Teflon is going to have this type of action or on bearings. Now, Chris Reeve, he likes to do things a little bit different. Uh, there's, there's friction there, but not in a way where it's grindy. It's a, the, people describe it as hydraulic because it's very smooth, but it's also very slow. These are not necessarily designed to be flicked out. Rather, they're designed to be open slowly with thumb stud or with two hands. Um, and it just sort of creates for a different experience. This is a more gentlemanly style um, a knife, but it also can be used extremely hard. This is still a very hard use knife. I gotta say, I'm, I'm talking like I'm trying to be very factual, but at the same time, I'm trying to hold back my enthusiasm for this because this is really awesome. This is the first time I have handled an Nkosi, and I'm really proud to be able to say, or I'm thankful that David uh, went ahead with this because uh, this is a really nice version. Um, I will say, you will probably not want that on there. <laughs> He's shaking his head no. Most, I don't like this either, but the rest of the knife is beautiful. And uh, this is just really awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. So It's built a lot more substantially than the pictures would make it look like. Yes, definitely. Like it looked pretty, not weak, but didn't look like it was going to be on the hinderer level. And it's Oh, it's you know, definitely. It's solid. I mean, as far as ergonomics go, golly, yeah, those inlays, they make a big difference. Yeah, they're perfect for your finger. They really are. No lock stick, absolutely perfect centering. This is one that has the um, ball bearing detent and a lock interface, so that's really cool. But anyway, guys, we thought this would be really fun to do like a big mega epic unboxing, but that's pretty much it for today. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like. And if you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. Um, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, then please subscribe to my channel because there's definitely more coming. Thank you again to David for 
supplying the next however many weeks of content. Uh, he's, he's got a lot of really awesome knives that'll set a, a permanent great example for him. So anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day, guys.